In this video, we're going to learn how to simplify uh, square root expressions. These will be expressions that you would get after you use the quadratic formula, and you would have to continue to simplify to get the uh, right answer, the correct answer. So we're going to start out with 3 plus the square root of 18 all over 3. In this one, you notice there's a perfect square in 18. Um, that was the last video that we just did. And there's a 9 times 2, right? And we can use that product rule of um, rationals. And so we can say 3 plus square root of 9 times square root of 2 all over 3. And our square root of 9 is a perfect square of 3, so we'll have 3 plus 3 square root of 2 over 3. Now we're not quite done with this problem because we have a 3 that's common in all these terms. Now the way we can do this, we can't just start canceling like this, okay, so don't be tempted to do that. But we can take out a 3, we can factor it out, like taking the GCF, and we will bring it out, and when we bring out a 3, we'll have a placeholder 1, don't forget that placeholder 1. And then the 1 here would be times square root of 2, so we'd be left with square root of 2. So in the numerator, we get 3 times the quantity 1 plus square root of 2, all over 3. Then the 3's will cancel, and you will end up with 1 plus square root of 2 as your answer. So that is simplified. Now let's try another one. 4 plus square root of 28 over 2. Now the perfect square in 28 is 4. So that's 4 plus square root of 4 times square root of 7 all over 2. Now the square root of 4 is 2, so we would have 4 plus 2 square root of 7 over 2. And we do have a common factor of 2, so I'm going to factor that out. I'm going to get a 2 times 2 plus square root of 7 all over 2, so my 2's cancel and I end up with 2 plus square root of 7 as an answer. Okay, let's try one more. We're going to, I'm going to go ahead and get a new screen, and we're going to do 3 plus square root of 8 over 3. Now there's a perfect square of 4 in the 8, so I'm going to pull that out. So 3 plus square root of 4 times square root of 2 all over 3. And I get 3 plus 2 square root of 2 over 3. Now we do need to check to see if there is a common factor, and there is not one here. Unless we can pull out a 3 from both of these terms in the numerator, you cannot cancel this 3. So you cannot cancel just these 3's. It has to be pulled out as a greatest common factor like we did in the other example. So in this case, this is our answer. Now in all of these that we did, we can do our calculator and check these. Make sure that if you do this, you're going to put parentheses. And some of your calculators may open a parentheses here, and so you're going to have a double parentheses, okay? But you can check them with the original problem and see that they give you the same decimal approximation to make sure you're right. Now, you can be right and still not have simplified all the way.